Quick word on dual mass flywheels. It can be a little bit difficult to identify what the problem with the flywheel is. Uh, there are a couple of ways to measure it easily, so I'm going to show you some ways of looking at your flywheel, make you uh, understand how they work and what they do, and uh, how to correctly diagnose whether or not this is the thing that's been causing all your trouble. This one's on a Volkswagen Golf, but the dual mass flywheel, the makeup is pretty much the same on all cars. You've got your traditional part of the flywheel here, which is just a heavy weight designed to carry it through the non-power strokes. Also, it provides something to put the starter ring gear on, so your starter motor will go on there, turn the engine over. So a big heavy weight. Uh, and that used to be what a flywheel was, but now you've got dual mass. That means you've got a center, which is free to move slightly to the left and right. And that's got um, springs and a cushion in there just to, they say it's to take out stress on the transmission and make a, a gentler drive. They do go wrong uh, a lot. Uh, they give judders and they can make mechanical noise. So once you've got your gearbox out, the way to check and try and find out what's going on is what I've done is put a couple of little marks there, one on the flywheel and one on the uh, clutch cover. And then if you just move the flywheel backwards and forwards, they say you're not supposed to have more than 13 mil distance. But what I do is not concentrate so much on whether there's 13 mil movement there. It's about how the movement feels. This is just clonk one end, clonk the next. There feels very, very little progression in that. So that's a good start. And then also you need to take hold of the top of the cover and move it in and out. And then if you look, there's a lot of movement there where the actual flywheel cover is just rattling in and out there. So there's a lot of movement there, which is the source of your main misery. Also, if you look here, you can see some score marks. So you can tell that the diaphragm has started to fail there as well. Uh, that would give you clutch judder. So mechanically, we already know that this clutch has had it and the flywheel's had it. we have got the luxury of the new one here. So you can see the difference. Uh, when you buy the Saks unit, it comes pre-assembled. So it's literally all bolt on, which is nice. So here's the, the movement on the new one. It's much more progressive and soft and gentle. And more importantly, there's very, very little movement and lift on the uh, outer part of the flywheel. It's not all rattling around, making horrible noises. So quite easy to check. They're not um, too difficult to diagnose. Um, and that's, that's a quick, easy way of getting to grips with dual mass flywheels.